everyone and welcome back to the channel thank you so much for clicking and as you can see from the title today we're going to be doing a bit of damp dusting around the house i'm going to be showing you and explaining to you why i do damp dusting and what exactly it is and i am also going to be showing you how i clean my radiators so um, this is the time of the year where your radiators they are on for most of the time during the day so we need to have them clean and this is just an overall clean with me video so if you if you are looking for cleaning motivation then this video is for you you can either clean along with me so grab your cleaning products or if you just want to watch to get as motivated as possible then this video is for you as well so sock up as much as you can and get ready to clean around your house join me today so the radiators like i said they're one thing that i tend to neglect cleaning i know a lot of you do the same <laughs> So I'm just going to get um, this duster and we're just going to basically remove as much dust that's lingering using this duster, um, especially around the back. So that's one area that I know is always forgotten. And also the base of the pipes as well. So don't forget to do that. Then I'm going to grab a hoover and I'm just going to suck up as much as I possibly can as well because um, sometimes the duster thingy doesn't grab everything so hoovering it I think helps as well because um, some of the stuff like it's in areas that you can't really reach so I find a hoover is the most effective thing to use. And, you know, the reason why you need to get your radiators cleaned and hoovered, you know, especially if you've got kids or got allergies and that, um, you need to, you know, make sure that they're clean and deep cleaned, especially around the back because dust will settle there and, um, yeah, and you turn them on and then there's just, yeah, so basically just clean your radiators. I said and I'll get back onto this using the duster if anything else has been lingering this will ensure that everything's out and I'll repeat the whole process again with the hoover so when that is all done and dusted um, I am going to basically clean the outside of the radiators um, um, I just prefer doing this way because you know I've got all the dust and dirt out so spraying the radiator with uh, whatever multi-purpose cleaner you want to use and a dishmatic is my choice of products and um, they work really well together or you can just use a microfiber cloth but the dishmatic was the closest thing I had and I just grabbed it and like I said this is like a version of damp dusting so um, just make damp dusting basically is just dusting with the cloth that's wet and with um, whatever multi-purpose cleaner or dishwashing liquid whatever you choose to use um, so this is damp dusting on a radiator um, and it works really well so whatever you've got lingering on the radiator this will ensure that it comes off please also make sure that your radiator is turned off uh, mine is turned off and don't forget to clean this part of the nozzle thing I don't know what you call it but don't forget to clean that as well And um, once I am done with uh, the radiator, I'm going to repeat the whole process in other parts of the house. But another part that I want to make sure is I mop. So I'm using boiling hot water here and I've put a floor cleaner and I'm just going to wipe, well mop the floor to ensure that all the dust that has come off, you know, is not lingering on the floor. So I'm just going to, I've hoovered the floor and I've just, I'm just mopping up now. So I am now going to um, damp dust some uh, picture frames and some frames around the house. Um, I like this method a lot more because I find that um, just using a regular cloth, which has got, you know, which is dry, does not necessarily wipe away all the dust at all. And um, I find that damp wiping, you know, kind of makes sure that all the dust is lifted. And yeah, I prefer damp dusting. So, you know, 
this is my method my favorite method of making sure that dust is officially come off So things like picture frames, they do collect quite a lot of dust. Um, so damp dusting will be perfect, as you can see right here. They do collect quite a lot of dust, so I prefer damp dusting. And then get a microfiber cloth just to dry it up. So on to another type of radiator. This one is a little bit different, but it still needs a bit of cleaning as well. Um, I just use, like I said, this works really well. And yeah, I've never been disappointed with this, to be honest. Um, I do, of course, hoover the bits over there. So, but I'm not doing that today. Um, I'm just going to show you what I normally do on a day-to-day -day basis. And then I'm going to spray. Then I'm just going to wipe everything off with my microfiber cloth. including that area so um, it's a little bit hard to reach but if I've hoovered it I don't tend to have any problems of dust building up there so I'm gonna do on top of a cupboard I know this area is forgotten most of the time it's amazing what you find at the top And then I'm just gonna wipe everything off and then get a microfiber cloth and just dry it up so yeah that's it for today guys um, I hope you enjoyed watching today's video I look forward to more content in the next coming weeks it's all gonna be Christmas related so all cleaning getting ready for Christmas I'm gonna be showing you what I do on a weekly basis to be ready in terms of if you're the one hosting making sure your house is tidy um, all the areas that you might forget this channel will be reminding you of everything that you need to tackle so look forward to Friday's video it will be the 2nd of December so that's when we start the festive cleaning routine so yeah I'll see you guys then you have a lovely day bye